to the very first problem that just coincidentally occurred on the practice test I distributed at the beginning of the 412 class uh, turned out to be the one that nobody was very confident they knew how to do. And everything else, people expressed reasonable to very good confidence. So we pretty much spent most of the class on this because of what it reveals about the normal distribution, the scaling of the Z's, and the scaling of the X's. Uh, it took us that long to get this straight, um, and, and in my judgment, that was probably the best use of our time, although I kind of wish we could have moved through it a little faster, but I don't think we could have. Um, yeah, we, we, we'd have lost people. I think we managed to do this without losing people. So um, whether everybody has complete command of it or not, I think everybody kind of has the picture. Uh, so well, the problem is this. The mean of a, distribu of a normal distribution is 151, and 69% of the distribution lies to the right of 127. The question then is, what's the standard deviation? Because of course, once we figure out the standard deviation, we can answer just about anything, okay? So, uh, this is a little different twist. We don't have a given standard deviation and a given mean, although you do have the mean, you don't have the standard deviation, but you have information that will allow us to find the standard deviation. Now, what's the first step? First step is we draw a normal curve with our Z values, okay? So we draw that. Um, second step, we put our information on that curve. What's our information? 69% of the distribution is to the right of a certain point. We don't care that that point is 127 at this time. We simply say, okay, uh, let's find the place where 69% of the distribution is to the right. Now clearly, it's not going to be the middle, is it? Because only 50% of the distribution is to the right of the middle. Okay, And it's not going to be too far over here because way over here we have almost 100% of the distribution lying to the right. So we split the distribution at some point where it looks like this is maybe 69% and this is 31%. Okay? So you can think, okay, if uh, this distribution weighs 100 pounds, we want to split it in a place where we've got 69 pounds here, 31 pounds here. We could start by saying, okay, well, Maybe we've got twice as much here as we have here, because we do then, uh, we basically split it into three parts, and two-thirds of it's over here, and that's about 67%, and that's pretty close to 69%. And I hope many, many of you will understand that. Some of you, if you think about it, will understand it. And some of you are like me, just can't understand anything when it's just said. Okay. Um, so here's our distribution, and I, I split it here. Now, I don't think that's quite right. Matter of fact, I know where to split it, and so did um, about half the class uh, to get 69%. <coughs> but I split it a little further to the left than, than I would have, because to me, it looks like what I've got over here is probably three times as much as what I've got over here. Okay, I've got, if, if this was 100 pounds, I'd have three times as much weight here as I have here, which means I'd have 75 pounds here and 25 over here. Not 69 and 31, more like 75, 25. Now, that looks like it's between 0 and negative 1, closer to negative 1, maybe at negative 0.7. Uh, and actually, I think if you go to negative 0.7, because some people did use that as their estimate, uh, you do get something pretty close to 75%. Still, that's not bad. You know, we're just trying to ballpark it and get a reasonable figure. Now, if you split it here, no, that wasn't good. If you split it over here, that's even worse. You didn't even have 50%. If you split it somewhere between 0 and negative 1, not too close to 0, uh, and not too awful close to negative 1, uh, you, you, you were in the right ballpark. And we're not trying to become experts at estimating these areas. Just something reasonable so you have something to look at. Okay, then you make an estimate of where you split it. And it looks like, in, the, in my case, it was split at Z equals negative 0.7. Okay? Then you check that estimate against the table. So you put in, yeah, there's my 75%. 
looks like I already knew that. Okay, I didn't when I did the, the, the curve. I didn't until I got down here. Uh, if you check z equals negative 0.7, if you check the table, you find that the table for, for 0.7 gives you 0.25, or closer to maybe, I think it was 0.26, uh, maybe even 0.27. It was pretty close to 0.25, okay? So the area that goes to z equals 0.7 is about 0.26, I think. What's that mean? It means 0.26 of your region is between here and here, in this little strip, between the middle and where we split it. That z equals negative 0.7. If that's 25 or 26 percent, then how much is to the right? Well, that whole 26 percent is to the right, and then all of this from here on is to the right. Well, from here on is 50 percent, so what you would have is 25 percent plus 50 percent, or 75 percent. Or if you use 26 percent here, again, that's what I think it is, you get 76 percent. Okay, well, what's that tell you? It tells you you got too much area here, but you're not doing bad. So you've got a ballpark figure, and that's good enough. You don't have to keep revising your estimate and going back to the table until you get a good one. We're going to do it in a much different way, okay? We're going to be able to calculate it. We're going to know exactly what to look for on the table. So we know we've got a reasonable picture here, but it's probably a little closer to zero than this. So it's maybe here. turns out it's halfway between zero and negative one. Uh, but we haven't figured that out yet, okay? Now some people pretty much figured it out right away, but we want to go through the process. Um, because, and the people who did figure it out, I said, okay, uh, now what if it was 73%? Uh, uh, then where would you have to split the thing to get 73% of the curve to the right? Okay? Uh, and, and that kept people busy, at least for a little while. Well, everybody else tried to get a grasp of this. <clears throat> okay, well, now I'm trying to figure out where I went on the board next, but here's where I am. Okay, now, I say here, if 75% is to the right, 25% has got to be between your Z value and the middle. I think it was 75% that I asked people to do. Um, so we didn't go there, I'm sorry, let me back up. Okay, we went to this. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the video here just to make sure I see how all this goes together. It's been 36 hours since we did this. Um, and I, it looks like I digressed the 75% question then came back to something else. So I'm going to cut the video and pick it up.